Hello. Um, Music Bear here with more on um, on the filters. Uh, we you remember that we were looking at this a couple of times now, and we have been looking at uh, the frequency and resonance um, dials here in the Sunet Superfix or Sun as I call it, um, and. Um, we were opening the the the, the uh, GUI, the graphical user interface, and um, this is what we were looking at last time. And I told you that uh, I was going to make an installation only about this guy, the formant. And this is going to be pretty technical uh, stuff. Uh, and I know that a lot would not be interested in this unless that I throw them a carrot. And in this case, the carrot goes something like this. Just adjusting that. Yes, here's the carrot. <laughs> Yes, that's pretty interesting sounds coming out of sin, isn't it? I mean, um, who said dubstep? So, um, and 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 I'm not only going to show you how to. Uh, make sounds like this, but I'm also going, and that's even more interesting to show you how you can control it. That is, how to make it. Um, uh, well, you could say how to to fit it into your beat. But it's technical, really technical. But let's take a look at it and. Uh, the format has its completely own page and you simply uh, press the edits and um, uh, boop. so what is this? well this is a spectrum of the uh, the, the, the sound really when we play let me put that guy down there. If you play it now, not a lot comes out. As a matter of fact, nothing. And, um, and that is because we at the moment really can't... Uh, we are not pushing the sound into any kind of variation right now. You can see here that down here we have something called octaves and that is presenting how the uh, the spectrum is used by uh, the sound. And we also have something called the center frequency, this guy, and that is uh, controlling where in the spectrum this variation is going to lay. So if we go down to very small numbers of octaves, we will only have variation inside that. So we are not really uh, looking for that. We are looking for variation over several octaves because we want to get that blah 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 uh, that you heard just before. So it's 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 happening up here in in these areas here, but also uh, I'd say around 3-4 uh, octaves inside the blah blah blah, blah. Um, it's, it's getting interesting. If you take it too high, it will just be um, very uh, unco uh, out of control and, and not sounding very good. But let's try to uh, look at what formants really are and mm, 
I have to say that uh, I added one there. I have to s I have to admit that I'm not understanding it 100%, but I think that it is, has something to do with how the sound crawls around this curve, and it ma makes a little sense. You see, I can move uh, this here on on the on the curve, the frequency. Um, yes, the frequency, and you're not hearing a lot here, but. When I add another formant, it is inside this one, so I have to choose it. You see here I have chosen formant 1 and now I'm choosing formant 2. And then I move, um, and you can see there's a, a small light, it reacts to, to, the, to the frequency position. I think that a vowel is kind of the space where the formant live and I can I can make this space smaller or larger and you can now see that there's actually possible now to distinguish the given uh, the, the, the given formant uh, when I make the vowel larger and I can now select this was the second formant, or I can select the first formant, and I can take it uh, up to the second formant, because I think that this guy counts from 1, 2, 3, and this guy counts from 0, 1, 2. That's a computer thing, uh, and it's somewhat um, weird. But now you can see that I'm I'm working on the on the second formant and I'm moving it around in the spectrum, right? And if I take uh, this formant, I can you can't see it because it's inside. You see, it's it's down there somewhere. I can bring it up. That is, I can use the amplifying of this formant and bring it up, and I can do something to it here that is called the Q and that is normally resonance so when I narrow the formant I'm actually pressing it up in frequency but why can't we hear anything? well that's because at the moment I'm not using enough of this sequence to make it uh, Variated, so I have to raise the sequence size. I'll do that. So we are inside this curve, but at the moment we are not. Um, <laughs> but we are not having enough of the of the sequence in order to get a variation. So we will have to raise the sequence size. I think that the formant is um, expressed in a um, in a standard uh, uh, pace, really, and meaning that you will get a faster, relative faster um, passage of the spectrum if you raise the sequence size. I hope you understand that. So now when we get you see here we have two. Now we're getting, and what I do, I, I raise the sequence size, right? I came from. Yeah, we also have to, to take that into consideration. Uh, when I raise the sequence size, now you can see it. And it has to come to the end of the note, because it's a two bar note. Here we go into it, right? Now you can hear the variation. Now we are running over this in the shape of this spectrum, right? And get this output. Uh, if I make the sequence even larger, I'll get another output.
But what is this about the, the frequency? Well, the vowel is only expressed if the sequency is changing. So if the sequency is, 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 is not changing, you cannot hear the vowel. So it's the frequency of the filter, the, the format filter that we're working with. The frequency is what is expressed. Okay. We're taking this up again. I will drop it down there. Um, it down. So the frequency is uh, 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 is, is uh, sorry. A change in frequency is necessary in order to get a variation over this spectrum. Now listen what happened when I move the center frequency, which is here now, and I no, it's not. Sorry which is the position of the spectrum in the on ten octaves. Listen. Now steep, right? I'm moving it down. Or I can move it up. It has to come to it. There you go. Now it's uh, uh, it is in, in a higher frequency, so I can move it on this this um, spectrum in in, in the uh, uh, rather under octave. I think that's easier to understand. Move this spectrum on the octave uh, with uh, this uh, central frequency, and I can blow the. Uh, uh, the number of octaves that I'm using are loud, uh, make them larger or smaller. Listen. But it's important to understand that the the vowel sequence is only expressed from the start of a note, so there won't be any variation inside here. Um, when these guys are changed, but it doesn't matter because we can't, we can't, unfortunately, get handles to anything here from outside uh, this uh, uh, user interface. Elemis does not have any uh, handles to anything of, of this. So we will have to uh, make our settings in here and then um, uh, perhaps make other uh, instruments like this if you want to have uh, other effects. But we also want to control this because as it is now, it's it's pretty uncontrollable, right? <laughs> 